So once you get to this point on the drawing where you have a hole going through the middle, you have your cylinder extruded, and then you have your chamfers on the sides, you need to get this hole in the center of it and the hole on the top of it. So this is going to be where we learn something new. We're going to be using the uh, work plane feature to draw a work plane in order to draw these features. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do this inside hole. So we're going to start a plane, and we're going to do a mid plane between two planes. So what this is going to do for us is we can select two points on our actual drawing, which I'm just going to select our two end faces, and then that's going to place a plane in the middle of those two faces. Now I can create a sketch on that plane, draw a circle in here with a diameter of 1.38, finish that and extrude that you can see my circles right there in the middle of this if I could hover over here right now right there I could extrude that and then I have to come into my extrude panel and I have to actually choose to make my extrusion both directions so this is a two inch circle so I'm going to extrude one inch one way one inch the opposite way and then I'm going to make this a cut feature so I want to cut everything out inside there so now that I have that, I could hit OK. Inside here, I also need chamfers, or fillets, sorry, uh, with a radius of 0 0.12. So make sure you put those in. In order to put those in, I'll show you guys one right now. So click fillet, set this to 0 0.12. And then you just hover over here till you get the inside circle. So I'm going to click that one, and then let's see if I can find the other one. There you go. Click that hit OK. So now we have those. If I hover over in here I can find those fillets. Um, now we need the hole through the top. So I'm going to create another work plane to draw on. So I'm going to go to plane and this time we're going to offset from a plane we already have. So offset from plane and then I'll change this. I'll hit this drop down on origin. These are original planes we chose to sketch on. So I should have an XZ plane that's going to be easy to offset to the top. So I'm going to choose my XZ plane and then I'm going to offset this half of the ra or the radius of the circle, half the diameter. So the diameter was 2.88, so I know the radius would be 1.44. Hit OK, and that should land directly on top of my cylinder. Now I could start a sketch up here on this work plane, and I could draw a circle, and it should lock up on that center line. But if it doesn't, I'm just going to use the top, the midpoint up here, and locks up on it. I'm just going to use the imaginary line that draws down to lock up on that middle. Just so I know exactly where I'm at. And then I have a 1.187 drill hole, so that's a 0.187 diameter. Hit OK. Finish my sketch, and then I'm going to extrude that the opposite direction, cut, and then that is just going to be through this top. So I'm just going to do it the radius. So I'm going to do a 1.44. I don't want to set this to all because then it will go through the entire object. But 1.44 stops right here. Hit OK. Now I have those two holes. I'm good to put this on a drawing block. 